Well, I think it's, uh, it takes a very special kind of leader to be successful in any urban school district. But I think uh, the biggest characteristic um, needed in uh, urban education in terms of leadership is a leader's ability to, to listen and the leader's ability to um, empathize with the population in which uh, he or she is supposed to serve. And when I say listen, I mean, a lot of uh, urban educators, or I should say urban school leaders, they come into a, a school district or a setting and they're too busy, uh, want to come in and put their own imprint on the situation. Uh, they want to be able to say, oh, this happened because of me, or I started this program, or I've done this. And what, they, what they're usually doing is they're taking from other things that they've done in the past or something they've read or heard about some other administrator doing, and they're trying to apply what was done elsewhere into their current situation. And you can't always do that. And a lot of times you miss the mark when you do. So when you come into a, a, a urban school setting, you got to come in and be able to listen to the stakeholders and observe and have a compassionate empathy for what was already in place first. And then once you're able to listen and learn and, 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 and gain that understanding about what's, what's going on, then you can use that knowledge to inform your decision making. And that, that will tell you what to do and how to direct your movements and what steps to take first. Because you can't always come into a situation trying to impose your own will. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to uh, put your own will aside and listen to others and then work with others to create what's needed for that particular school system.